everyone, welcome to Celebration Worship this week. We'll light our candle just to remind us that God is all around and Jesus is the light of the world. God is good all the time. The Lord is here. This week we're going to start with our birthdays. So we're going to celebrate the birthdays of Fletcher, who was seven on Monday, and Lucy, who was also seven on Monday, and Timas who was eight on Monday. We also like to wish happy birthday to Lexi, who was nine on Wednesday, Amelia Rose, who was seven on Thursday, Isaac, who was six on Thursday, and Isabel, who was six yesterday. So we'd like to wish you all a happy birthday and hope you've had a great time. And we're gonna to sing to you. In our worships we've been thinking about truthfulness and how it's really good to tell the truth and how it's good to be true to yourself. We've also been thinking about Jesus and his disciples and how he chose them. They were fishermen and he decided to choose them to be fishers of men. So to go around spreading God's special, special message to people all around and that's how they became his disciples. Here's a bit of the story I'm going to tell you now. One day Jesus was speaking to large crowds of people on the shore. He was telling them all about God's kingdom. Jesus noticed two fishermen's boats on the shore. He stepped into a boat belonging to Simon and spoke to the crowds. When he'd finished, he asked them to row the boat into the deeper water and let down the nets. We've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But if you tell me to do it, Jesus, I will. He couldn't believe his eyes. Oh, we've caught so many fish. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. Follow me and I will make you fishers of people. And the fishermen left their boats and their nets and they decided to follow Jesus and they became his disciples. So maybe we can spread God's message. This week, lots of children have been really busy learning at home, learning at school. The key stage two children have been learning about dragonology. So if that's been you, well done. You've learned some really new words and you've been able to make dragons and draw pictures of dragons and do some creative art dragons and tell me all about different sorts of dragons. That's been really exciting. In Key Stage 1, the children have been learning about seeds and plants. And because we've had such nice weather this week, you made a change to go and go outside. So I'm hoping that some of you have planted some seeds and are able to grow some nice plants. Maybe in a few weeks, you'll see them starting to shoot through in reception and in penguins, then the children have been learning all about animals. So we've seen lots of nice animal artwork and animal writing. So well done to you as well. Here's some of the work from this week.
children who are working at home who are going to be able to come back to school and I know you've missed your teachers and your friends and certainly the children in school have missed you as well. So that will be really exciting. So on March the 8th, we look forward to all being together again. On Friday this week, there's a handwriting competition. So whether you're at home or at school, I want you to think about your best handwriting. See if you can copy a poem or a rhyme in your best handwriting, then bring it with you on March the 8th and we'll have a competition. You've all done some super work at home and at school and we're really proud of you all. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you really soon. Let's say our end of worship prayer. May God keep us safe and happy today and every day. Amen. Take care everyone. See you soon. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God made everything. God simply spoke and the world came to be. He sent a flood and made everything new. He parted the sea and let his people walk through. He helped a boy bring. So much.